Hi there, this is Jeff from jeffmobile.com and today I want to talk to you about editing software for making videos because as you know, if you followed some of my channel, you've seen that I'm doing a lot of videos these days. I recently did a video about the Vancouver Lantern Festival and I did another video about the Vancouver Pride Parade and I continue to do lots of videos about Vancouver restaurants. So anyways, about this interest of mine, I traditionally used Final Cut Pro 7 on my Macintosh and I learned that tool through my editing class I took at Langara College. However, Apple recently came out with this new version of Final Cut called Final Cut X and this has been received very poorly by the professional movie industry and the editing community. People find it's very much like the free product of Apple's, the iMovie product, and doesn't really allow you to have total control over your edits if you're doing professional work where you want really high quality, quality video. So I started looking at other options and the be next best option I can find is software from Adobe called Adobe Premiere. And there's Premiere CS4 and CS5. CS4 will run on older computers, 32-bit computers, but CS5 only works on 64-bit computers. So I actually took the plunge and I ordered a fancy new 64-bit computer from Dell Canada. And it is i7, has eight gigs of RAM. It looks, sounds like a really good machine. It has eight cores, it's like a very, very powerful machine. And I'm also currently evaluating on the trial, 30-day trial, Adobe Premiere CS4, and I really love it. I'm so used to the editing workflow in Final Cut, and it basically, most of my things I've learned in Final Cut are easily transferable over to Premiere. So I've, I'm really excited about this. I think Premiere will be a wonderful tool, actually faster than Final Cut, because in Final Cut Pro, if you're editing from an SLR camera, like this, this video is being recorded on my T2i. If you are um, editing editing with this footage on the Final Cut, you have to transcode it to a format called ProRes before you can do anything with it. Whereas Premiere lets you edit directly off the source files you get from the camera. And also taking advantage of these new high performance processors in my new computer, I'll get to do a lot more do a lot more videos in a shorter time, which for me being a video blogger, it's really helpful to have a faster workflow. And my instructor at Lankara College, uh, Thomas Fillingham, he also said that he is switching to Premiere as well for his workflow. And he shoots a lot of films about you know the local community and dance organizations, music. And he's going to find, he's actually found it pretty easy to learn Premiere coming from a, a film-based background. So anyways, that's my new thing. I hope if you're watching this video, you might have some questions about how do I edit all these videos. I'm still using sometimes Windows Live Movie Maker for some videos because it's really fast. It's a free program, comes with Windows. So I use that sometimes if it's a very short video. But the problem with Windows Live Movie Maker is it does have some difficulty rendering long videos. So anything longer than like two or three minutes, I try to do that in a more professional tool. So that's it. Um, hope you enjoy it. and. Um, yeah, uh, please explore editing options on various platforms, but if you want to go with what I'm drawing, I'll, I'll definitely keep you updated on how, how it's going with Adobe Premiere. <laughs> okay, well, thanks a lot. I'll talk to you later. Bye. This is like the upbeat version of the evil castle.